hello friends so in this video we are going to see how to configure voice over internet pro protocol so let's first take the router 2811 then we are going to take switch mm, so here we are taking 5 IP phones So now we will make a connection between the phone and switch using this fast ethernet cable. Now we are going to see to make this phone enable and connect to switch uh, as the green signal will indicate the connection is done between the switch or phone this switch or phone. So to make the connection, so let's first drag and drop the power adapter to this socket. Using this, we can see that the connection is established between switch and IP phone. So, fast forward it. Let the green signal indicate that the uh, connection between them is established. So, do this connection with the remaining phone. So here the connection is established with all the phones with the switch. Now we are going to connect the switch with the router using the gigabit Ethernet cable. First Ethernet port. So now we will going to configure the IP address of the router using the command given by the Cisco. So for this I was referring in the this website packet tracer network.com here the commands of, uh, to configure the router to configure the IP phone with the call manager express telephony service how to configure the switch everything is uh, every command is given on this website so I will post this link uh, in the description below so with the help of, help of this command let's make the let's give the IP address to the router the router first So we are giving the IP address to the router as 192.168.1.1 So for this IP address and for this IP class the subnet mask is 255.255.0 Okay. We successfully give the IP address to the router. Now we are going to use the DSCP server, which is used to assign the IP address to the IP phones. So IP DSCP two voice. 
instead of voice you can also give your name or anything you want so other network address is 92.168.1.0 with subnet mass Address Uh, used to configure the TFTP server as it is used to allow the phone to get the firmware and configuration files from the router. This is done by the 150 command here we use. And, uh, now we are going to configure the call manager express to enable the VoIP on our network. So take the So maximum number of phone lines we are taking as five maximum telephones maximum number of telephones five and this so this here the IP of the router where the telephone will be registered and the source address which is running the DHCP and TFTP service which will be the router itself and the port used for the phone is by default here we are taking as 2000 now we are going to automatically register and do the registration of the phone using these commands auto assign Four two six two seven three two five six. Okay. Now we are going to make the assign the phone numbers to the IP phones using e phone tm one. Enter number is ninety five. Mm. Three eighty. 
Switch. Let this switch enable config terminal. Yes. So now we will ensure the IP address of the phone number are assigned to the each phone or not. So must forward it. Okay. Here we can see that the IP address to the phone, the gateway and the line number is assigned to it. All the rest of the thing done. Okay, done, done. done. So let's see if it's working or not. Here we can see the phone divided by phone number. So let's take this one four seventy five. Successfully done. Connected. Okay. Let's do with another phone. Here. Let's call to it by. Thank you.